I went with the big buck and brisket sandwich XXL. And I actually chopped all the meat right there. What was that talking about? In front of you. Going to Bucky's and I have no clue where to turn at. You think you got cut from those? Um, I think it's no. I think it's the one all those people are turning at. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. it's got to be. Where the crowd's at, that's where it's gonna be at. Oh, here we go. Already a, a long line for. Wonder them. how busy the other Bucky's are. This is gonna be fun. So now we're turning onto the new road, which looks like it was built for Bucky's. Mm -hmm. This is right in Kodak, Tennessee. Turn on to the brand new road. This is so weird, like, that there's one this close now. Yep. I'm so used to the one being like. We'll get over in the left. It's two lanes is already a bad sign of how many cars we're about to run into. Yeah. It literally looks like the size of a Walmart. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm about to, hit this, Tegan? about to hit the circle. Let's see who I can or cannot run over. Mm -hmm. Or what curbs I can or cannot run over. It was crazy. So I'm gonna make this first left. I see some traffic starting up ahead. This is the first chance to turn into Bucky's. Let's we'll see what this first turn leads into. All right, so we made it to the front of the store. We've already done past half of the gas pumps and look how many you can still see mm -hmm. from here. Are there like 120? Is it 120? I'm not sure of the exact number. Oh, that's 100 and some. All right, Jeep's about to be T-bone steak. This is crazy. So we found the Tesla superchargers. You can see that it's, um, it's a good way to make sure you get a parking spot. Oh wow, there are. So we got it to supercharged spot. About to plug it up, head in here. I thought they were parked at one You can see the massive number of gas pumps. That's crazy, there's so many gas pumps. And we have several Tesla chargers going all the way down. I got them look right. Yeah. Tea leaf films. What's your first impression of Bucky's? Big. Big, like your head? I know you're not talking with your forehead. Uh -huh. No, it's serious when you get a buggy. As you see, we got us a lot of stuff here. We didn't even carry. Tiffany spent eighty dollars. But of course, me being the person better with money than I am, I only spent twenty. So we get outside. Of course, it's raining, and then we got us about a seventy-five-yard walk to the Tesla. And my car has exactly two minutes remaining until it's charged. That worked out perfect. <laughs> Okay, so this has been $80 of Bucky's. We're literally in a flood. I'm gonna throw my ducking cup away in a second, but I got it here to show you. It's up under like an inch of water. Is it that deep? Yeah. So we just got done with our first time ever at Bucky's. $80, actually $100 got the kind of shirt I bought to them. You can definitely tell this is our first stop. So we bought a ton of food, $100 worth of stuff, including the shirt I bought for traveling back here. 
came outside into a monsoon. Well, yeah, tsunami. Okay, like. tsunami. Yeah. But anyway, I went with the big buck and brisket sandwich XXL. And they actually chop all the meat right there. What was that, 12 In front of you. Yeah. $12.99, but it's pretty big. It's big and it's a lot of like good meat, so. Of course, I got some beaver chips. $2.59. Tegan got fried chicken sandwich, beef jerky. Here, Tegan. Here's your jerky. And we tried these, they were so good. It tastes like kind of like honeycomb. Yeah, highly recommend. Yeah. What are they called? Beaver nuggets. Beaver nuggets. I thought it was going to be like nuggets. Like actual Same food. thing that comes out of Tiffany's hair whenever she combs it. Beaver wow. nuggets. Wow. Okay. I got a club milk and the chips. Also, we got this huge cinnamon bun to try. And then Traylon randomly just wanted a salad and a uh, beef jerky. And we all got soda. So, yeah, about to try everything. Oh, it's in like a cup. You see it? I thought they were just down the bag. You're good? You're chicken. Get the beef jerky. Guys, it's flooding right now. Alright, here goes nothing. Wow, look at mine. Uh, oh my god, look at mine. You want a bucket chip? Do my chat No, I'm not. That looks super good on it. It's messy. What? Mm. Okay, just leave it back in the That's good. All right. really good this barbecue sandwich is fantastic. It's not like something you get in a gas station. You know, it's more like some restaurant type stuff. Would you rate it? It's super good. 10 out of 10? It's up there for sure. So is Bucky's worth it for the food? I'd say yeah, for sure. So we got in there, it was super packed. Oh my God. But you could still move around and whenever you get in line, you're in and out pretty quick. So, you know, they're really efficient. There's a lot of people in there, but it moves fast. Yeah, it's busy, mm -hmm. but it's like, everybody's doing their own thing, you know yeah, what I mean? it's busy, but it's efficient. They're ready for the crowd. So you get in there, it's a lot yeah. of people, but you actually get where you're going fast. Yeah, like people, like, or people maneuver around you, like, you know. That's good. Oh, one mommy fingers. Yeah, like I said, buggies is packed, but you get mm. you get in and out very quick. That's super Why good. Like All right, so we're rolling out of here. So hectic. Let's ride by and check out all the gas pumps. So we've already passed about 10 to our right. Do 0 to 60 right here. Yeah, that sounds smart. Okay, so my best is going to feel like these gas pumps is never ending. I'm sure you can hear the echoes of Tiffany Tells all crunching. Oh my god, I was eating bacon. Chip and teeth and bucket chips. I was eating I, bacon. I just saw the car that Mama has just pulled by here. You did? Yeah. Tiffany, did you say you like cars like that? That, was, that lowered one right there, you said you were trying to get one like that? Oh my god, stop, Terrell. I want to try that. I don't freak candy, let me get by first. I'm thinking there's a car, Mom, let's see it. A white one? No care is given with that camper, huh? I was like going like an old one too. Like I think they think their car ends at the bumper and was pulling that. Wow, that's insane. They're blocking like a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if we can navigate around this. Wow, that's crazy. People are just like not even aware. They have zero concern for anybody else on the road apparently. Mm -hmm. There's still gas pumps. That's crazy. I'm going across. I would say that'd be a random place to cross if they did. Okay, now what's this truck Whoa. going? Okay, I didn't see the thing he was hauling pop out from behind with it. Wow. He literally didn't even like pay attention to you. Roadblock number two. I'm used to it at this point. That's the thing when you go somewhere like tourists, there's so many people like the general public is like not intelligent. per hour.
hour on the interstate. Interstate 81. Every time Terrell drives it, it's always pouring the rain. <laughs> oh, is this a wreck right here? Oh, it is. Look at the tire. See is it? it? Oh, wow. They, oh, you see their tire on the side? Oh, wow. It was totally ripped. Yeah. So I thought we were slowing down mainly because of the rain, but I think it was that wreck too. Yeah, but the rain is really bad. You can't see like the road. 